come into Walmart today um, had to get squirrel man a big bag of squirrel feed big 50 pound bag or 40 whatever that is and I got him a bunch of other nuts and he got he got grapes and stuff big juicy grapes he loves them and I got me some stuff but I met some dude that's why I come over here he had a Hannibal croc like the one I dug and I just got my stimulus check my whole stimulus check and then some. Look what I got fixed. All right. I'll show it to you when I get to the house. I'm giving it to my mom. Um, a good investment. It's just the same face plate as the last one I found, but it's the butter crock. There's not very many of these in existence. Um, this is a scorcher. It's perfect condition. It's got a slate flare to it. Um, it's nice, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Let's get that slate flare, wow, folks, wow. I'll show it to you at the house, and the one I just dug, just like it, but different. Later. Old squirrel man got mixed nuts. Look here, buddy. You gonna have some grapes? Now, get stay out here. I just got back from Walmart. I'm gonna take the crock down to my mom's. Thought I'd see you. Uh, a mid-video squirrel master. Look at him. Are you gonna get a squirrel maniac? What? What? Look at him, folks. Here. Look at this big man. What a good boy. Now quit throwing fits. Look at him. You mad? Get down here. He's going to go in his box. He's mad at me for picking him up. i got to get clips of him. But he'll eat this stuff. It'll be gone when I get back. He's getting woke up. I'm going to have to make him a new box today. He's got this. There's little pieces of cardboard everywhere. He shreds it on the inside and makes a big nest back in there. Makes a mess. The whole bottom's probably tore out of it. He scratches in there. Well, anyway, I'm going to the dump, too, so... Whatever I find will be after the croc clips next. I was really fortunate to be able to buy one of them. Just never offered for sale. And since I dug the one, this one's different. It's a, it's a good acquisition. Lay that. All right, here's these puppies. You can see how much bigger this one is. This would be like a butter croc. It, these are very rare. I just dug this one on the left in the last 14 days. Dug it right down on the beast clay in the dump. And a guy that I know that his dad used to be an antique dealer in New Martinsville, West Virginia, had one of these crocs. I know one other person that has one that's a family member of mine. My dad's sister has one she bought years ago. It's about like this one, but a little different. Um, these very rarely come up for sale. They're very rare salt glaze crocs. It's a real small town. The guy, Alex Martin, opened a store in 1882. And I will put a link up at the end of this video on the left of me digging this croc if you haven't seen me digging it. The video will be up there and on the right will be where I'm digging some other crocs. But I got my stimulus check and he messaged me and said, you know, you got this other one, do you want to buy this one? And I said, yeah, it was more than the 600 of my stimulus tech check, but I popped on it. You know, I'm never going to be able to get another one of these for sale. Um, I don't see it happening. I found broken ones of these and it was a bucket list to find this one for me and I got it today. I would have rather dug it, but you know, something this rare, you just gotta pop on it if you can get it. And it's a, I got it for a little wonder what I feel it's worth, so it's an investment. My mom can have it and enjoy it. it they look 
you know, having both of them now makes mine even more valuable. And plus, I got the two Bearsville Crocs, which is the same town. They changed the name to Hannibal, Ohio. I'll put one of these videos up at the end, me digging a Bearsville one. B-A-R-E-S-V-I-L-L-E. -E. And down below this video, I'll put, I'll put a history, an article, a long article on the town. And it tells when this guy, Alex Martin, he was a shoe and boot maker opened his store in 1882 and talks about some other stores. These salt glaze crocs are beautiful. I was happy to be able to share this with you and I'm really happy to be able to get it since I just dug one. It's awesome, it's beautiful condition. Real nice, it's got that, you can see kind of where the potter held his, his or her hands on it and it kind of follows that, it kind of flares towards the tip. It's just awesome. Came out of an old house in this town. He's had it for decades. Uh, thanks for selling me it, Mark. Um, great addition to my salt glaze croc collection. Really rare one. Hope you enjoyed, Figs. I'll show it to you put up on the mantle with the other crocs. Later. All right, I've dug all of these up here, except on my channel. Even all the ones down there, there's crocs back in there, and you know way more. I have plain salt glazed jugs with handles on them at my house, and upstairs I have more crocs. But here's some of the nicer ones. There's a Hamilton and Jones ones there. It's the only one here that's got damage and it's got a lip chip. I find this one laying out on the side of a hill in one of my videos. All of these are perfect. There's no cracks, chips, or nothing. This one has early American shields on it. Sorry if it's kind of dark in here. I got all the lights on that are in the room. There's a James Hamilton company. I dug that like at the end of 2019 on my channel. These Crocs here are extremely rare. They're honestly as rare as these Hannibal ones. They're D G hires, hire dealer in dry goods and groceries, Bearsville, Ohio. Not only found one, I found two of them. I'll put a link to one of these finds up at the end of the video. These are rare. Um, Hamilton and Jones too here. You know, these are more common Crocs, but they're perfect and really nice. And here's the one I just dug this year. Really rare, Hannibal, a Alex Martin. And here's the one I bought today. My mom's real happy. And here's a Hutchinson New and Sons, Matamoros, Ohio, which is New Matamoros. Here's a little fruit, Conrad, New Geneva, Pennsylvania. I dug all of these with the exception of this one and I'll never have the opportunity to buy another one, so I popped on it. The guy saw me find this on video and mess texted me, and I know him. Can't believe he sold it to me, but he did. Now look at that collection. Makes the one I'm, now I got two examples of a rare croc, two different sizes. It makes them both more valuable. Plus the Bearsville ones from the same town. Bearsville, Hannibal, was called Bearsville, then they changed the name. So it's an early history of the town, the very first part of the town, very first part of the history. But there you can see it's turning into a nice collection. And all of them were free except the one today, and I had to pay up for it 600 plus some money. <laughs> so, but it's perfect. And I feel it's worth more than I paid, so I had to pop on it. Um, I will. Get back in the dump. Wanted to show you this. It's a good day. Acquiring something like that. A rare item. Later. Look at all these bottles and stuff that have come out of here. There's old stuff down in there, but it's hard for me to get to it. There's so many roots. Th these walls are just packed with glass. And you can see here, see how all of this goes over? And then it goes way down here in just one little half moon shaped area. All of this has slipped off and went down over the hill so i know there's old stuff that ginger beer come from right down in there there's big pieces of salt glaze crocs down in there and i found that newport news virginia pepsi right here right on the base i could get to the base right here but it's hard to get back in this i'm gonna have to bring a matic cut some of this down i know i can find stuff in this wall it probably goes all the way over there there's bottles and stuff everywhere there's just glass packed in here it's just everywhere. Right here's where I found the Newport News, Virginia Pepsi. But there's layers back in this wall. I'm going to look here a minute and I'm going to get under the hill and try to make a few finds today. 
Um, I had to get pick up at Croc and stuff, so it, I'm later in the day today. I'll see what I can get though later. Yeah, there's a nice ash layer back in there anyway. Um, thought that was a marble, it's a light bulb. This rock just fell right out of there. It almost hit me in the arm. It would have broke my arm. Watch this. Yeah, I was hoping it went all the way down, but there's a shape for you. I'm definitely going to be able to make videos up here too. I know the old stuff's up here someplace, hence the slip. But I got multiple bottles sticking out here. One here, one here. There's another one. A lot of the stuff's newer, but not newer. 40s. That looks like it has some promise. Can't tell what it is yet. Could be a soda, I don't know. But I'll get them both out, and if they're anything, I'll show you. But I got bottles in the hole, and there's lots of glass in here. But Here's a, I think it's an absorbing medical bottle, but it's embossed, and it's got the original cap on it. I'll get it out and show you. A few dollar bottle anyway. I was right up here digging into that, and I came down in here in the slip, higher than where I've been. I've been down in there, and there's bottles here. Found that blue one there on my bag. But let me get this out. And it's got the cap on it and it's got an A on it. And it's an old, this is an older bottle. You know, it's 30s I would guess. It's got an A on the cap. It's like beer bottle glass. It says absorbing 12 fluid ounces. And it's all embossed up on the bottom. But right there absorbing and the cap. The cap's probably worth as much as the bottle. You know, most of the time it is on stuff like that. I'll take that bottle, not what I'm looking for, but kind of cool. There's some older stuff in here too. I think this is probably one of these squat beers. I think it is. None of them are embossed, I found, but it has the numbers on it. See what we got, this is an older beer bottle. Yep, new embossing now. They're nice, look at that early Creed 4S 4, 4 on it. But none of them are embossed. Huh, they're cool bottles. I'm gonna take that. That's a real old beer. It's, an, it's got a weird crown top on it. So hopefully something old comes out of here. You know, I found a crock laying out right over in there like a year and a half ago, just laying out on the surface. It was just a little brown one, but it was still nice. Look. Yeah, there's an aqua shoe polish. It still has, I'll show you. Right there's the thing to apply the shoe polish to your shoes, rub it on. It's still in it. You know, that's, I might take it. I put them in a box and trade them. But look, it's up here too. You know what that is? That's a really small in diameter salt glaze crock, just a piece of it. Right here, that deep under the surface. There might be a hole in laying in here. I gotta dig. But, you know, that's another piece to it. It says P O U something Ohio. You know, that would have been a lifetime find. Look at the little squiggly lines. P-O-U-H, maybe? I don't know, but that would have been awesome. You can see it there. Wow. Unbelievable. Wait. I found another piece of that little crock over there, but look at this. There's a half gallon mason jar right there under the leash, right above where I was digging. Stuck in the ground. Let's see this is whole. This is a day maker. Oh man, folks, a half gallon. Perfect condition. Look at that on the surface. Number nine. You know, that's a $20 jar in an antique store. There's no damage to that. It's all full of dirt. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to dig all over this whole hill. There's a lot of digging to do in here. This is nice, folks. Half gallon mason. Yeah, you got to see that crock I bought today. Now you get to see me find a beautiful big jar. I got a lid I just found for this. That'll look great in my kitchen. These big ones are hard to find. Look, no lip chips, nothing. Beautiful blue ball. Look how aqua it is. It's almost turquoise. All right. All right. And that, I'm sorry, I know a lot of people don't like this newer stuff. This isn't new, it's what, you know, 70, 80 years old. I'd say it's 70, around 70, 80. It's got the original cap, that's kind of cool. And I even like that beer. 
later. Here's another piece of this salt glazed crock. Man, that's a shame, but I like even finding the pieces. This is towards the top. It had a name on it. Here's a, here's the piece right here. I'd like to see the town name so I can research it. It's P O U H or P O. I'm not sure. But man, look at, oh, fakes. And there's another little shard of it. Oh no, that sucks, that's great. I would have pooped myself out of it. Well, look here, here's more of it. G-R-E-C, maybe, I don't know. That's towards the top, I think. Let's see. I don't know. No, that's G-R-E-E, -E. it's Greensboro, I would guess. It's some kind of Greensboro, but I don't, well, maybe that's a different one. It can't be, because this says a high, and it wouldn't say Greensboro, PA, I doubt on an Ohio one, but maybe, if it was made there. Later. I think this is a Powhatan Point, a high, it says Dorsey on it. This is a pretty rare crock. Yep, Powhatan, Ohio, which is Powhatan Point. Right there, it says Dorsey on it. Right there's the Powhatan Point. Oh, didn't have one of them. You know, that's a thousand bucks complete. Oh, and perfect. Oh, man. Later. People collect du DuPont stuff, you know, it's not my cup of tea, but I'm gonna take that to trade. With the new cap on it, that's a pretty bottle. It's glass and it's colored. It's like painted. Early DuPont polish and cleaner. Somebody would want that like in a car garage or something with oil cans, that'd look great. That has to be worth 15 or $20 all cleaned up. Yeah, I was just thinking like five minutes ago, it's about time I got on to a marble. I was on them down there, so they gotta be up here. And I got one. I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe a cat eye. It is, but it's a, it's a real deep green one. Like the color of the Incredible Hulk. Not bad, not what I'm looking for in terms of marbles. That's a common one. Yeah, there's another rim off a of salt glazed crock right there. I don't think it's the same one that came from off of it. And there's whole bottles, so there could very well be a whole crock in here, fix. Let's hope. See, there's a coke. Later. This says duo form on it. It's cork. One pint. That would have been a cool bottle. That's older. That's over 100 years old. Huh. Bust. Yeah, I got a little marble here. It's just a solid weight one. Nothing to brag about, but my rake broke. And it's a hindrance raking with one of these short ones. You know, I gotta be standing up and raking hard. It happens, it just snapped on me while I was raking, so I'm gonna go. Um, got a heartbreaking crock, um, the Powhatan Point. I'll show a picture after this of what it would've looked like, maybe in the video, I don't know. But my favorite finds the half gallon mason, I got the dirt out of it. It's perfect condition, there's no breezes or nothing. That's awesome. I got a lid for it, a few, this older beer, the crock would have just, that's, pow, that's a real small town too, Powhatan Point, Ohio. Um, I'll look it up and find a picture of one. There's no...